Hi, I'm Mira from Fluid Mira. This is a full body mat workout. We're going to begin the class lying on our back. So let's go ahead. Bring yourself down to the floor and lie on the back. Now I'd like you to have your feet hip width distance apart, your pelvis in neutral, and the spine is in neutral position. We're going to start the class with some breathing exercise, so diaphragmatic lateral breathing. Now place the heels of your palm on the lower side of the rib cage on each side of the ribs here. And just bring the fingers tips wrapping over the front of the ribs. Now here, as we inhale, I'd like you to fill up your lungs, and then try to expand your rib cage sideways into your hands like as though you're blowing balloons. Exhale through the mouth, deflate the rib cage and draw in your transverse abdominis, your deepest abdominal muscles. It acts like a corset. So when you draw in the transverse abdominis muscle or the TVA, you feel like a hugging sensation across the left and the right of the waistline, as well as a drawing up and a scooping sensation from the lower part of the pelvis upward towards the belly button and from the lower rib cage downward towards the belly button. So everything is sinking in towards the belly button and wrapping around the, uh, the waistline. So we inhale through the nose, feeling the ribs expanding into the heel of your palms. Exhale. Deflate the rib cage and draw in that transverse abdominis muscle, the TVA muscle. Let's do a few more times here. Inhale. Exhale. TVA drawn in, wrapping your body like a nice tight corset. Inhale. Rib cage expanding. Allowing the diaphragm to descend down towards the pelvis. Exhale, the diaphragm rises up and the TVA muscles drawing in towards the belly button. So you have a nice scooped, like a dent feel, an empty abdominal contraction. And inhale. Exhale, hold of the abdominal. Contract the rib cage. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Drawing the abdominal in, the TVA in. Last one. Inhale. Expanding the ribs as much as you can sideways into your hands and back down towards the floor, too. Exhale, drawing the tibia in, deflate the rib cage and let that go. Take your arms down by the side. Let's move on to our pelvic rocks. So we use the breath that we just did. We inhale, allow the ribs to expand sideways. Exhale, scoop the abdominal, draw the tibia in and then allow the pelvis to rock, imprinting the lower back tucking the bottom under, a little dent or scoop sensation in the lower abs, and release back to the neutral pelvis position. Exhale. Again, draw the tibia in, and then the lower abs kick in to tilt the pelvis up. Inhale, release back. Exhale. So I want you to use your abdominal to move the pelvis and not squeeze your bottom to push the pelvis up and in breath. If you are using the bottom, what's happened is that you're going to feel your belly bun bunching, right? Like doming instead of hollowing and release. Exhale, hollow the belly. Imprint the lower back, curl the pelvis up. Inhale, release, two more times. Exhale, 
Imprint the lower back, rock the pelvis. Inhale, back to neutral. Expand the rib cage. Last one, exhale, hollow the belly. Imprint the lower back and release back. And let's take it to the pelvic curl. We exhale, we roll up. So you pass the pelvic rocks and curl up high. Use the hamstring, but keep the abdominal towards the lower spine and then lengthening through the spine. Exhale, we roll down again. We draw the abdominal in, we imprint the spine one vertebra at a time and release the pelvis at an in-breath. Exhale, as we curl the pelvis up, peel the spine to the bridging position, spread your toes down, press the big toes down, engage the inner thighs, press the two ends of the shoulders down. Exhale, roll back. We're going to pick up the speed here. In breath, exhale, we roll up, 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 in breath, exhale, we roll down, 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 next time we're going to stay up, exhale, we roll up, up to the highest bridging position with the scoop abdominal, we do not want to push the ribs up, engage the ribs lengthening towards the hip joint, stay, dorsiflex the feet, dig the heels down, lift the feet up, stay for five, four, engage your hamstring, three, two, one, do not drop the pelvis, lower the feet down, spread your toes, lift the heels up, hold, five, four, three, two, one, Lower the heels down and we go ahead and roll the spine down to the floor. Well done. Interlace the fingers, glide the hands to the back of the head for the chest lift. We're going to do a little variation here. We breathe out, we lift. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, arms back and return. Again. Inhale, reach, exhale, and return, again, in breath, exhale, return, again, inhale, reach, exhale, arms back, and come on down, last one, please, exhale, Inhale, reach and lift and come back down. And exhale, we lift, we stay. Take the arms forward, press your hands to each other, scoop deep, rotate to the right. Inhale, center. Rotate and lift to the left. Inhale, center. Rotate and lift to the right. Inhale, center. Rotate and lift to the left. Inhale, center, rotate and lift to the right and stay. Grab the left hand to the inside of the right thigh. Grab the right hand behind your head. Lift the chest a little higher. Use your arm to help you. Stay in that rotation for three, two, one. And hands behind your head. Rotate to the other side. Grab the right hand and inner thigh on the left side. Use your arm to help the chest up. Find the rotation. Find your lift, stay, three, two, one, hands behind, back to center, and release down. Well done. Lift one leg up to tabletop. Second, up to tabletop. Glide your arms out to the T position for spine twist supine. From the waistline, we rotate to the right. Exhale, center. From the waistline, we rotate to the left. Exhale, center. Opposite shoulder stay down as you rotate. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, two more each side. Exhale, and the left. One more each side. And last one to the left. And center. 
Okay, hold the legs in tabletop, take your arms overhead. Let's go to the hundreds. Yay, we breathe out. Lift the head and the chest up, Grang, lengthen the legs. Not yet, lengthen the legs up to the ceiling. Reach the arms long and we breathe out for five. Shh, 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 shh. And inhale, five. And exhale, shh, 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 shh. And inhale. You're welcome to bring the legs diagonally. I'll keep the legs up to the ceiling. Exhale. Shh, 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 and inhale. Can we scoop the belly deeper as you exhale? Shh, shh, shh. Can we lift the chest up higher as you inhale? Exhale. Shh, 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 shh. Inhale. Two more sets. Shh, 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 shh. Inhale. Last set. Inhale, stay, bend the knees, lower one foot, second foot, release the head down, open your arms out to the T position, bring your feet to the edge of the mat. Let's go to the hip rolls, drop the legs to the right and center, drop to the left and center, just rolling to the right, center, rolling to the left, center, Again, and center, and turn, and center. Two more each side, center, and last one each side, and the last one here. Okay, walk your feet back to the middle, draw the legs together. We got single leg stretch crisscross and double leg stretch. So we take one leg up to tabletop, second leg up to tabletop, lift the head and the chest up, grab the right knees with the hands, extend the left leg long, have the feet aligned with each other, use your arm to help yourself up a little higher and we switch for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, we hold one. I've got my right leg on tabletop here. Grab my right hand behind head. Keep my left hand on the knees and rotate my trunk over towards the right side. Lift up a little higher. Stay there for three, two, one. We switch the leg, switch the arm. We repeat the same. Press the hand down to the knee. Lift up higher. Find your rotation. Make sure the feet are on the same height. Stay. Three, two, one. Hands behind the head. Continue to the crisscross. curl. We rotate. Rotate. And. And. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Center. And come back down just for a moment. Exhale, lift up again. <sighs> Grab the shin, bones lift up higher for the double leg stretch. We scoop the belly in, we let the lower back settle on the floor. We inhale, reach, arm and leg. Exhale, <sighs> reach out. Exhale, <sighs> and reach. Hold the height of the chest here. And three more. We do not drop the chest. And two. And one. Stay, head down. Well done, lower one foot down, second leg down. Stretch your legs long on the floor for the roll ups here. We inhale, left. Exhale, pull up the belly into the C curve. Now, just a variation, lift the spine, take your body, Spine upright. Take our spine to another seeker. Roll back. Arms overhead. Again, inhale, chest lift. Exhale, seeker. Lift through the spine, upright. And seeker. Roll back. Arms overhead, two more times. Inhale. Exhale, C curve. 
Lift through the spine, arms to the ceiling, lengthening the back. And seeker, roll back, arms overhead, last one here, inhale, exhale, seeker, lift through the spine, take your arms out to the ceiling here, stay nice and tall, hold the spine, pull the arms back, for shoulder flexion for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, stay long, three, two, one. Interlace the hands behind the head. Readjust the pelvis if you need to. Dorsiflex the feet. Let's go for spine twist seating. And rotate to me. And center. At a side. Movement is from the spine. Leave the legs alone. And. And three more sets. Two more sets. Last set. Center hole, point of feet, hands on the right knee, bend the right knee, keep the spine long, readjust the bottom if you need to. We're going to do climb a tree without the rolling back, just the hip compression and extension of the leg. So take the right leg to your hands, exhale, we compress the hip, join one, as you breathe out, two, and three, extend the knee, reach long with the leg, reach tall with the spine. We bend the knee again, compress, three, two, one, inhale, reach long with the spine, reach long with the leg, bend the knee, slide away, other side please, and we compress, two, three, inhale, reach long, reach tall, we bend the knee, one more time, and two, three, inhale, reach, 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 and we bend and lengthen the leg out. Interlace your hands back behind your head here. All right, this is your hip flexor work. We're going to reach the right leg and lift up. For five, four, three. Keep the spine nice and tall, two. One, we switch, left leg up, two. Three, four, five, six. Oh, that's extra one. Good job. And release that. All right, let's turn yourself towards me for the side kick. So I'm going to do a triangle arm today, which is this. If this is too challenging for you, you go ahead and bring the forearm down and have your positioned like so. Otherwise, please join me. Elbow onto the floor. Engaging the underneath armpit, your lat muscles working, your obliques are working, your legs are long, the spine is a nice long position. Take the top leg up, dorsiflex, and we kick forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and inhale, exhale, inhale, four more, inhale, three more, inhale. Two more. Last one. Reach back. Bring the top leg in front of the bottom. Release the forearm down. Arms by the side. We're going to do a side bridge here. So align the shoulder and the elbow. And then we press the feet. Lift up. And then take the top arm over. And then we stay. You can also look down if you want to. I'm going to look forward. Stay here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, stay strong, five, four, three, two, one, arm down, coming down. All right, swing your leg over to the other side. For the side kick, do the same arm position that you have the other side. Okay, engaging the obliques. Reaching up the top leg, dorsiflex the foot, and we go forward. Inhale. And. Stay. 
Stay long. Shh, shh. Four more. Shh, shh. Three. Shh, shh. Two. Shh, shh. One. Shh, shh. Reach back. Top leg in front of the bottom one. Bring the forearm down for the side bridge and lengthening through the spine. Draw in the two waistline. The two ways to the middle, the two waistline, the two ways, the waistline to the middle. Okay, shall we lift up? All right, take the top arm over, stay. You can look down if you choose to, and or look forward like I'm doing. Stay for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and come back in well done all right on to our front for our baby swan and breast drop we're not far to the end of the class here so all right let's have the forearm on the side of the shoulders legs are long energy through the legs lifting up the abdominal off the floor gliding the shoulder blades down and reaching the elbow as low as possible on the floor we inhale lifting up the upper spine only. So the thoracic upper middle. And release down. Inhale, lift the abdominal, glide the shoulder blade, and lift the upper back, middle back. And go down again. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we go down. Two more. Inhale. We lift. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go to the breaststroke here. And this time, take the forearm with you. Inhale. Lift the forearm. Reach the arm. Side. Bend the elbow. Exhale. We go down. Again. Inhale. Lift. Reach, side, exhale, and three more. Two more. Last one. Good work. Press the forearm down, push the floor away, pull the belly in, sit the pelvis back to rest position here. Good. You can just shake your pelvis left and right, ease out the back muscle. Okay. And I can bring it to a stillness, tuck the toes under, please. We're just going to finish the class with some up stretch. So lift the pelvis up. Go to an up stretch position. Long spine, long neck, tailbone out, and sitting bone reaching out. And then from here, I want you to just lower the right heel down. Bend the left knee, so a little prancing movement with the ankle and chain. And stay long in the spine. Press the armpit down to the floor. Keep alternating the ankle and chain and change and change and change one more each side both heels down for final stretch can we really try to stick your booty out and pull the ribs in keep the spine long neck nice and easy in breath Exhale, one more time, in breath. Exhale, now I want you to walk your feet towards your hands here. Just walk, 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 walk. Softening the knees, softening the arms, let the body dangle. Shake your head a little bit, let it dangle. Relax the shoulders, shake your shoulders a little bit. Now here, in breath together with me. Exhale as we roll the spine up, softening at the knees, bringing the pelvis to a vertical alignment. 
and stacking up the lower spine, the middle spine, the upper spine, opening across the front of the chest, neck long, head long, in breath, exhale, allow the feet to ground to the floor, inhale, lengthening up through the spine, exhale, ground your feet, last one, inhale, lengthening off the floor, exhale, and ground yourself down. And well done. Thank you for joining me. And I wish you a lovely day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoy this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.